I, well, I, you're always surprised. Um, uh, you never expect it because there's so many TV shows in the world. They are. There are more and more TV shows all the time. Mm -hmm. So, um, no, I didn't expect it, but um, but I, I can't. I have to admit that I did hit refresh on the website to figure to find out <laughs> if, I, if I was. I had, I had a good feeling about the show because yeah. um, Amazon's been promoting it, and it's a mm -hmm. wonderful, wonderful show. It is, it is, and even you did the picture editing for the pilot. So basically, you gave you, you sold the show. You helped sell, sold the show to to uh, Amazon because of your setting the tone for the show. How would you describe your style of your work on the show? What What is so unique about Marvelous Miss Maisel when it comes to picture editing? Well, it's really Amy's. Amy has a very definitive style from previous work, although our our show um, has its own its own unique style as well. It's a, it's a, soul, it's a more soulful show. Um, it's, it, it gets very, very dark at times um, and uh, deals with some difficult human relationships. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm attracted to comedy and drama at the same time, and I've worked on S several films that yeah. sort of plumb them at the, like I worked on the movie The Savages I don't know if you know it um, I work with Tamar Jenkins a lot who, who, who's very very good at um, this idea that 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 the, the tragedy of life is also has a weird buoyant ironic comedy and uh, this show has an element of that too so I felt like um, when I read the script I was very attracted to it it's getting more and more complicated to actually say which show is a drama, which show is a comedy. I mean, The Marvelous Miss Maisel is nominated as a comedy show for itself. Um, hmm, how would you describe the show? Is it is it somewhere in between, or is it a comedy, or what what does it feel like for you? I think of it as a as a great traditional Hollywood musical. I mean, it's not a it's not quite a musical, but there's a lot of music in it. I feel like it, it its rhythms and its and its colors and its choreography kind of remind me of a '50s musical like Funny Face, like like Audrey Hepburn, like I feel I feel like that sensibility, which, you know, is romantic and has pathos um, and also a lot of comedy is sort of the, the world that we're in, but it's its own thing. It's a lot randier, it's got a lot more sex and references to sex than than than, than you would find in a fifties Hollywood oh, <laughs> movie. So so it's you know it's pushing up against, you know, very current cultural ideas but also has a kind of nostalgic gloss that I think is um, it's the palette of the show. What I liked about the show is the fact that we have so many high concept shows out there like fantasy, sci-fi, horror, whatever and then comes this, I mean certainly it's a period drama but it's like a very close to home, close to reality and uh, it's not like a high concept crazy uh, story. Was there something that attracted you to the show as well to do like a, a heart warm felt family show I mean it's a it, it, it's a family show from a very specific socioeconomic milieu which is like Upper West Side late 50s Jewish Ashkenazi New York so like, so like you know I relate to that because I you know uh, that's in a sense my, a, a part of my family history to some extent and so yeah it, it felt personal in that way to, to family but it, it's also like there's something sort of zany and screwball about the show that I don't I don't think is realistic and I love that heightened kind of reality and that's a hard thing to edit because you never want to lose sense of the, the authenticity of the moment even if you're you know even if there's a lot of music and a lot of fashion and the color is a little heightened you still have to be grounded in um, in real human feeling and that's about the actors being really spectacular so I handed to Tony and Rachel and uh, and Marin and all of our cast for that